At Star Base, Texas, a rocket taller than the Statue of Liberty descends from the sky at breathtaking speed. In less than a decade, SpaceX has revolutionized the space industry by achieving what once seemed like science fiction, catching rockets in midair. The mechanical arms of Mechazilla extend from the launch tower like a high-stakes game of catch, representing one of the boldest innovations in spaceflight history. However, even groundbreaking technologies have their limitations. As SpaceX pushes the boundaries of what's possible, they've discovered that sometimes the most elegant solutions aren't always the most practical ones. Today, we'll explore how SpaceX is rethinking its approach to landing both Starship and its super heavy booster. This strategic shift could completely transform how we recover the world's most powerful rocket, making space travel more efficient and reliable than ever before. Let's dive right in. The story of catching rockets begins with an elegant but incredibly complex idea. When SpaceX first unveiled their vision of Mechazilla, mechanical arms gracefully plucking Starship boosters from the sky, it captured the world's imagination. Those towering steel arms, reaching into the heavens like modern-day titans, represented humanity's growing mastery over spaceflight technology. But as with many ambitious innovations in the space industry, the reality proved far more challenging than anyone anticipated. The forces at play during a rocket landing are staggering. When Super Heavy, Starship's first stage booster, returns from the edge of space, it's not just fighting gravity, it's wrestling with complex aerodynamics, battling atmospheric turbulence, and managing the tremendous energy of its descent. Every landing attempt is a delicate dance between raw power and precise control. The 33 Raptor engines, each capable of producing 520,000 pounds of thrust, must work in perfect harmony to guide this massive structure to its target. The original Mechazilla concept faced three critical challenges that pushed SpaceX to reconsider their approach. First, there's the issue of timing. Catching a descending rocket requires split-second precision, the kind of accuracy that leaves absolutely no room for error. Even a fraction of a second's delay or a slight misalignment could spell disaster for both the booster and the catching mechanism. It's like trying to catch a falling pencil by its point, except this pencil weighs millions of pounds and is moving at tremendous speeds. Second, there's the weather factor. While the Texas coast might seem like an ideal launch location, its unpredictable wind patterns create a constant challenge. The slightest gust can push the massive rocket off course during its final descent, making a successful catch nearly impossible. These environmental variables added another layer of complexity to an already intricate operation. The third challenge involves the immense forces at play during the catching maneuver. When Super Heavy descends, it carries an enormous amount of kinetic energy, energy that must be safely absorbed and dissipated during the catch. The mechanical arms need to be strong enough to handle these forces while remaining flexible enough to prevent damage to the booster. It's an engineering paradox that has proven extremely difficult to resolve. But SpaceX has never been one to back down from a challenge. Instead of abandoning the idea of rocket recovery altogether, they've begun exploring a hybrid approach that combines the best aspects of their previous experiences with new innovations. Drawing from their successful history with Falcon 9 landings, they're developing an enhanced drone ship system specifically designed for Starship's unique requirements. These next-generation drone ships represent a significant evolution in rocket recovery technology. Unlike their predecessors, which were designed for the relatively modest Falcon 9, these new vessels must handle a rocket that's nearly 10 times heavier and generates 10 times more thrust. The engineering challenges are immense, but the potential benefits make the effort worthwhile. Consider the numbers. Starship, when fully stacked with its super heavy booster, stands 120 meters tall with a diameter of 9 meters. When fueled, it weighs nearly 11 million pounds, a mass that dwarfs anything previously attempted to land at sea. The drone ships needed to recover such a behemoth must be technological marvels in their own right. SpaceX's engineers are tackling these challenges with innovative solutions. The new landing platforms will feature advanced stabilization systems that can compensate for ocean movements, 
Crucial for maintaining a stable landing surface, they're developing cutting-edge heat shielding materials to protect the ships from the intense heat generated by Starship's Raptor engines, which burn hotter and more efficiently than the Falcon 9's Merlin engines. But perhaps the most impressive innovation is the advanced water deluge system being developed for these new drone ships. This system must deliver precisely controlled water flows to cool the landing pad and manage the tremendous heat and force generated during landing. It's a complex dance of thermodynamics and fluid mechanics, requiring split-second timing and perfect coordination. The landing process itself is being completely reimagined. Unlike Falcon 9's relatively straightforward vertical descent, Starship performs its now-famous belly flop maneuver before transitioning to vertical flight for landing. This complex choreography requires new guidance systems and landing algorithms that can account for the ship's unique aerodynamics and the motion of the ocean platform. To secure these massive rockets after landing, SpaceX is developing a new generation of autonomous robots building upon their successful octagrabber system used with Falcon 9. These new robots must be substantially larger and more powerful, capable of safely securing a rocket that towers over its predecessors in both size and mass. The implications of this new recovery system extend far beyond just technical achievements. By making Starship truly reusable, SpaceX is laying the groundwork for a fundamental transformation in space travel. Each successful landing brings us closer to a future where space missions can be launched with the regularity and reliability of commercial airline flights. This evolution in recovery methods also demonstrates something crucial about innovation. Sometimes the best solution isn't the most obvious or dramatic one. While the idea of catching rockets with mechanical arms captured public imagination, the refined drone ship approach might ultimately prove more practical and reliable. As testing continues, SpaceX engineers are gathering valuable data with each landing attempt. They're learning how to better manage the tremendous forces involved, how to optimize the landing sequence, and how to make the entire process more reliable. Each lesson learned brings us one step closer to routine, reliable space travel. The journey from Mechazilla's ambitious catch mechanism to an enhanced drone ship recovery system reveals a crucial truth about space innovation. The path forward isn't always the one that seems most spectacular. SpaceX's willingness to adapt and evolve their recovery methods shows that true progress often comes from refining and improving proven technologies rather than pursuing the most dramatic solutions. As Starship continues its development, these new recovery methods will be crucial in making space travel more accessible and sustainable. Each successful landing brings us closer to a future where rockets can be reused as routinely as commercial aircraft, dramatically reducing the cost of accessing space. We're witnessing a pivotal moment in spaceflight history where the dreams of science fiction are being transformed into engineering reality. SpaceX's evolving approach to rocket recovery isn't just about catching falling rockets. It's about catching the future of space exploration itself. If you want to stay updated on SpaceX's latest developments and breakthroughs in space technology, make sure to subscribe to the Elon Musk 24-hour channel. Hit that like button if you found this deep dive into rocket recovery technology interesting, and share your thoughts about SpaceX's new approach in the comments below. Your support helps us continue bringing you the latest space exploration news and analysis. Space travel is no longer just about getting from point A to point B. As SpaceX pushes the boundaries of what's possible with Starship, a revolutionary question emerges. How will humans actually live during these epic journeys through the cosmos? Today, we're stepping inside Starship's hull to uncover something extraordinary. While the current interior might be a maze of stainless steel and exposed pipes, SpaceX's vision for the future tells a different story. One where comfort meets functionality across six meticulously designed levels. From a high-tech warehouse at its base to a breathtaking observation deck with panoramic views of space, this isn't just a rocket, it's humanity's first true home among the stars. The engineering challenges are immense, but SpaceX is already making remarkable progress.
we've seen controlled vertical landings, the first catches with the Mechazilla arm, and now we're getting our first glimpse into how astronauts will live during these pioneering missions. With Elon Musk setting ambitious targets, returning to the moon within two years and reaching Mars in four, the race to transform Starship from a cargo vessel to a habitable spacecraft is intensifying. The plans we're about to explore aren't just drawings on paper. They're the blueprint for humanity's next giant leap. This is Elon Musk 24 hours. Let's dive right in. The transformation of Starship's interior represents more than just a technical achievement. It embodies humanity's first real step toward becoming a multiplanetary species. As we break down the revolutionary six-level design, we'll see how SpaceX isn't just building a spacecraft, they're creating a blueprint for humanity's future among the stars. At the heart of this design lies an elegant solution to one of spaceflight's greatest challenges, how to make the most of every cubic meter in a vessel that must serve as both transportation and home. The current Starship prototype with its bare metal walls and exposed systems might seem far removed from a habitable space, but this industrial foundation will soon give way to something extraordinary. Starting from the ground up, Level 1 serves as the backbone of the entire operation. This isn't just a storage space, it's a carefully orchestrated command center for all the systems that keep the crew alive and thriving. Massive power distribution units line the walls, humming with the energy that flows through the vessel like lifeblood. Cargo modules designed for maximum efficiency can be reconfigured on the fly, adapting to the mission's changing needs. The proximity to Starship's fuel tanks isn't just convenient, it's a masterclass in engineering efficiency, minimizing power loss and maximizing system integration. But it's on level two, where SpaceX's vision truly begins to take shape. Here, the marriage of technology and nature creates something unprecedented in space travel, a self-sustaining garden in the stars. Hydroponic systems stretch from floor to ceiling, bathed in specialized LED lighting that mimics Earth's natural cycles. This isn't just about growing food. It's about creating a psychological bridge to Earth. The sight of growing plants, the smell of fresh vegetables, the simple act of tending to living things, these elements are crucial for maintaining crew morale during long-duration missions. The dining area, seamlessly integrated with the agricultural space, transforms meals from a necessity into a communal experience that strengthens crew bonds. Level 3 represents SpaceX's commitment to human health and well-being in space. The exercise area features advanced resistance systems that counteract the effects of microgravity on human physiology. These aren't just any workout machines. They're specially designed to provide Earth-like resistance in zero gravity, ensuring astronauts maintain the strength needed for their arrival on Mars. The medical bay, equipped with state-of-the-art diagnostic tools, stands ready to address any health concerns that arise during the journey. This level embodies SpaceX's understanding that the success of long-duration spaceflight depends as much on maintaining human health as it does on rocket technology. Privacy becomes paramount on Level 4, where individual crew quarters offer more than just a place to sleep. Each cabin, though compact, provides a personal sanctuary with customizable lighting, temperature control, and communication systems. The circular layout isn't just aesthetically pleasing. It creates a natural flow while maximizing the use of space. Small details make a big difference here. Sound dampening materials, personal storage solutions, and even small windows that offer private views of the cosmos. Level 5 demonstrates how communal spaces can foster both scientific achievement and human connection. This expansive area serves multiple purposes— a research laboratory where groundbreaking experiments can be conducted, a meeting space for mission planning, and a social hub where crew members can relax and bond. The centerpiece of this level is the Observation Lounge, featuring reinforced windows that offer breathtaking views of space. This isn't just about the view. It's about maintaining a connection to the journey itself, reminding crew members of their place in this historic mission. The crown jewel of Starship's interior design is Level 6, the command center. 
This isn't just where the spacecraft is controlled, it's where humanity's greatest journey is orchestrated. Advanced displays provide real-time data from every system, while ergonomic control stations ensure comfortable operation during long shifts. The integration of artificial intelligence assists with routine operations, allowing the crew to focus on critical decision-making and scientific objectives. The genius of this design lies not just in its individual elements, but in how they work together. A central elevator system, supplemented by emergency ladders, connects all six levels, ensuring efficient movement throughout the vessel. The environmental control systems maintain perfect atmospheric conditions while recycling nearly 100% of the water used on board. Power management systems automatically adjust to changing demands, ensuring critical systems always have the energy they need. Recent tests of Starship's launch and landing capabilities have provided valuable data that's already being incorporated into the interior design. The successful vertical landings have confirmed the structural integrity needed to support this six-level configuration. The Mechazilla arm catches have demonstrated the precision control required for safe and reliable rocket recovery. As SpaceX continues to refine Starship's design, we're witnessing the birth of a new era in space exploration, one where humanity's dreams of living among the stars are becoming a reality.